Gimel Amad Beis. We'll begin Lamed Gimel Amad Aleph, the last line. We're discussing the Din of Havdala, Havdala in Shmon Esrei, Havdala Lekais. If he forgot to say the Havdala in Shmon Esrei, he does not repeat it because he can be Mavdil Alekais. He can say Havdala Lekais. Boy, Minei Rav Chisim Rav Sheishes, but he asked the following Shaila Tal Bezu Bezu Ma. Let's say he made a mistake in both. So he did not say Atafayna Tan Shmanes, right? He did not say the Havdol Shmanes, right? And he did not say Havdola Alakais. So what does it mean he did not say Havdola Kais? He did not say Havdol Shmanes, right? means he said the Shmanes, right? He recited it without the Havdola, without Atafayna Tan. But if he didn't say Havdol Alakais, so what does it mean he made a mistake? So say it now. So the Rishonim explained the Rashba that it means is that he ate or did a malacha without saying Abdul. He's not allowed to eat or drink without saying Abdul because if he made a mistake and he ate or drank without saying Abdullah, so now he don't shman esrei without Abdullah, he ate or drank without Abdullah, he did a malacha without Abdullah, and now what does he do? Ma, what's the deal? He has to go to the beginning. Now, if he only made a mistake in Shemana Esrei, and now he, now he has to make Havdalah Lakais, if he did not yet do a Malacha, so that we don't require him to go back to Shemana Esrei and repeat the Shemana Esrei. But if he made a mistake in both, he did not recite the Havdalah and Shemana Esrei, and he ate or drank without saying Abdul Kais. Now he has to go back to the Shman Esrei and say Abdul Shman Esrei and Al Kais. Amr Levina Lerava, help us on my what's the halacha? Amr Lei Ki Kiddush. Ma Kiddush, I forgot the Mekadosh, but slice the Mekadosh Akasa, just like Kiddush. You say, you say, and Leil Shabbos and Yonta, we say Kiddush and Shman Esrei, we say Kiddush Al Kais. Here also, even though you make Havdolah and you have to make it all kinds. Where does one recite the Havdolah? So the Chamo that it's incorporated within the Brach about the Chayna Tana. Rabbi Kiva says it's a separate Brach. And Rabbi Elezer says it's incorporated in the Brach of Haidah, of Kelaidahs. Rabbi Zera have a rochel chomer. He was riding on a donkey. Have to show the azol rabchia b'rabin basra. He was going behind him. Omer le vade da amris. Is it true that you said mishmei the rabbi yechana halach kir b'lezer b'yom tov shechal yosafar shabbos? Is it true what you said that you said that halach is rabbi lezer and yom tov that falls out on musaf shabbos Sunday that there is no brachvat a chaynen? You cannot incorporate it not a chaynen tano. And over there. Therefore, we say you say it within Haido. You say it incorporated in the bracha of Kelaidos. Is that true that you said that? Amalayid? Yes, it's true. Frank Digan Mora Halach and Mechal Vatli mean to say that they argue? Who argues on this? Frank Digan Mora What do you mean nobody argues? Mahabhla, you're Rabbana? The Rabbana don't say that on Matzei Shabbos that Ata Hanantano is in the bracha of Haido. Mar says, no, aim at the plea Rabbonin. Where is it that the Rabbonin argue in Bishai Yemei Sashan? That's the regular during the year. Where over there there's a bracha of Ata Chaynen. Beyond the Shechal Yemei Sashan Shabbos in the plea. But there's no bracha of Ata Chaynen on Mosei Shabbos at Yom Tov. So would they argue in such a case? Correct thing more would mean about Plea Rabbi Kiva. He still has to tell me that the Halacha is like a Lazar. La Afuke Rabbi Kiva to show that Talok is not like Rabbi Kiva who says that it's a separate bracha on its own. According to Rabbi Kiva, it's a separate bracha. It would be a separate bracha the whole year and on Yantush Chal on also on Achar Shabbos. Kumar says, no, that's not a reason. There's no reason to tell me La Afuke Rabbi Kiva, Ata Kol Hashan Akula Me'adin Ka Rabbi Kiva, Da Hashan Nekiv and Amin Talmose. We don't pass him like Rabbi Kiva the whole year. And for the same reason that we don't pass him the whole year, we would not pass him like him here on Yom Tov Shechal Yosach Shabbos as well. Kol Hashanah Kula Mai Taim Eloi Avdein Rabbi Kiva. The whole year, why don't we pass him like Rabbi Kiva? Because of the time Nisar Tikkun, Tishrei Loi Tikkun. 
because the Takai is Shmon answer, 18 brachas, not 19. Taken. The Takana on Yontev is 7 brachas, not 8. So therefore, you don't say a separate bracha for Havdalah. So the same reason applies here. There's no reason to tell me the Halach is like Rabbi Lazar and not like Rabbi Kiva, where the whole year we don't pass them with Rabbi Kiva. On a separate note, the Gemara says, Amr Leh, he had a different version of what Rabbi Yechonah says, La Halacha Itmar. He didn't say that Halacha, that Halacha is like Rabbi Lazar, which, as Rashi says, implies that we would pass him like that publicly. El Amatin Itmar. It's not that publicly we pass him that way, but privately we would instruct a person to conduct himself that way. The Itmar of Yitzchak Barab Dimi Amr Shum Rabbein Halacha. He said that that's halacha. We would pass him that way publicly. I'm like Martin, and some say no. It's only Martin privately. Rabbi Yechon Amar Moedim that they agree to each other. There's no machlekes. And he Barav Amar Niren. He says that it's Niren. It's even a lesser madrega. It's Niren that that's the halacha, meaning if a person conducted himself that way, we would not force him to repeat it and change. But we would not even instruct him to tell him to it. Follow that opinion. That's the way you should follow the dying. The Gamar Shmaitz Mipume, the Mara, Shapir Krach with the Pumadisa. Because he was so careful with what his Rebbe said, just like Rachba and Pumadisa was so careful that what he said, that he also was so careful. So, therefore, that's the opinion that you should follow. Dhamma Rachba, where do we see that Rachba? was so careful with that because Amr Mihura Harabaya Steve Kafu Haya Bahaya Steve Lufni Steve. The Naharabayas they had rows of benches, one row within inside the other bench. Now he used the lotion of Steve. Normally we would use an itztaba. We would use the terminology of an itztaba. He didn't use the terminology of an itztaba. He used the terminology of a stiv. Why? Because he was medayed to say it exactly the way he heard it over from his rebbe. And so there we use so medayed so therefore you can rely on that because he said it over exactly the way his rebbe said it. In our context as well, we can rely on what he said because he was medayed in what his rebbe said and therefore Rabbi Yechon would have said it in that way. I, we, in my tradition, my Messiah is not like this, not Martin, not Nira, not Zer, but as follows that the Abdullah on Motsi Shabbos, that Yom Tov Shechal, the Faraz on Motsi Shabbos, that the Nusaf of Abdullah is as follows, and this is the Nusaf of Abdullah that we say as well. And the Nusuf of the Havdalah is Vataydienu Hashem Lekenu as Mishpatei Tzidkecha You instructed us with your Mishpatim, your righteous Mishpatim with Hamidenu Lassas Chukei Yitzinecha and you taught us how to follow your Chukim Vantchilenu Zmanei Sosam Chagin Nedova Vataydienu Shenu Kedusha Shabbos Vekavad Moyen Vachagiga Samrega Ben Kedusha Shabbos Kedusha Shabbos Yivdal Havdalta Das Yom Hashvi Mishay Sumei Amasa Kiddash Da Yivdalta Vekiddash Asam Chai Yisrael Bekusha Secha you sanctify Kval Yisrael with your righteousness, with your holiness, Vatitin Lano, then we continue with the Brach of Vatitin Lano, so it's incorporated in the Brach of Kedushas Hayyayim. That's where it's said, it's not said in Haidah, it's not said in separate Brach of Ikhtayasma, it's incorporated in the Brach of Kedushas Hayyayim. Let's see the Mishnah. Yeah. Mishnah says, if a person says, if a person says that you are shalom, your mercy extends to the Khan Sipor, to the birds in the nest, that there's a Mitzvah Shalucha Khan you instructed before we take the Imam Abonim that the mother has to be sent away. You see how merciful the shame is. If a person says that, or if he says, if he says that your name, the name of Rabbi Shalom, should be mentioned on good things. Or if he says, mighty, mighty, if he repeats the mighty, Meshaskanai, so we silence him. All of these things are inappropriate, as we'll see in the Gemara. So, Bishlam, mighty, mighty, Meshaskanai, so if he says mighty, mighty twice, we silence him. Why? What's wrong with that? You shouldn't have to stay or show us. It's like he's accepting upon himself two masters. Mighty, mighty. 
So Rachmanin Tzlan, it's like he says, he's praying to two to two sources. So that's the problem over there. And if he says, Also we silence and we understand because it's mashma Because it's mashma that the Neshem's name should be mentioned only on that which is good and not on things that are bad. Now we learned in the Mishnah, Yes, Mubarak on the raw as well. So it's not only on the it's on the raw as well. Ella al Ella al Khan Sipur Yagiracha Mecha my time of why do we silence him? Al Khan Sipur Tayyibatraim Ram Marava to Marum in Earth Israel argue on that or be a Sibra Abin or Bia Sibar Zida Khad Amar Nation Matal Kina but mass embrace. One says the reason is because he instills jealousy in the creation. But it's only mercy on the birds, it's not mercy on the other creations, not on the other creatures. And one says, because no, it makes it, it seems to be like we, the mitzvahs are because we're merciful, because we have mercy. And if they're xeris, they're not because of mercy. I mean, it's not like there are all kinds of people and institutions that have mercy on these animals or, or, or compassion on these animals. These are xeris. We don't understand really the depths of what these mitzvahs are and what these xeris are. They're not the uh, in, uh, we're not able to comprehend it in our understanding of it, simply that it's having mercy on the birds. These are xeris of Kodesh Baruch Hu and they're the amkos and the midas of MS and they're beyond our comprehension. So we don't reduce it to oh that Hashem has mercy on the birds. There are things beyond our comprehension, and we accept it, and we perform them because the Rebbeinu Shalom commanded us to do it. And as the Forshim speak out, the Ban, etc., that it's for our benefit, and and it's not the primary benefit is not mercy on the creatures, on the creation. It's for our benefit. And why, how it works exactly, we don't understand. But it's not the simple understanding of the humane being humane for a humane society for for birds Ahu did not was coming the rabbi there was a shaliyah sibor that went down before rabbi va'amar atachas and he said in his tila rabbi shalom you have had mercy al kan sibor atachus rachim aleinu and similarly you have mercy on us Amar Rabba, Rabba said, Kama Yodo, Heitz from the Rabbanu, the Surah Mara, how well he knows to appease his master, the Rabbanu Shalom. Why are you praising this? The Mishnah, we learned that we silence him. Rabba, Nami, Lukhudu, the Labaya, who the boy. He was just testing him, just seeing if Abaya Rabba didn't really mean it. He just wanted to see and test Abaya to see if he would be sharp and, and catch it and see that this is improper. Ahu de Nachos came to Rabbi Chanina. It was the Shliach Sibur that came before Rabbi Chanina. Omar, Akel, Agodol, Agibor, Vahanoira, Vahadir, Vahazuz, Vahayor, Vahazik, Vahami, and Zavad, Vahad, Vahad, Nechba. And he gave all these praises and Rabbi Shalom, how powerful and glorious and strong, etc. So he did not understand. So he waited till he finished this reciting all these praises. He saw him on the lights and tell the full shalom to the Morach. Have you now? Concluded and completed all of the praises of the Rebbeinu Shalom, your master. Why are you saying so many of this? Anan, and we ourselves in the Shalom Esrei, Hanei Etlas Amina, and even the three that we say, Akel, Agor, Alagibor, and the Noira, he loved Amina, Moshe Rabbeinu. But Rice, if not for the fact that Moshe Rabbeinu said in the prayer, but also Anshan Knesset with David at the Kinnah Betfila, and they were massacring it in the Betfila, Lo Yavinu Yechel Lo Meimer, we couldn't say it. Meaning, the point is, is that the, the praises of the Rebbeinu Shalom are beyond our comprehension; they're infinite. Anything that we say, we're really minimizing it because what you're stopping here, you say five praises, you say ten, you say a thousand praises, you're still not going to be able to say, no matter what you say, you're not going to be able to say all the praises of Rabbi Hashem. So anything that you're saying, you're minimizing the praises of Hashem. And we, the three that we say, it's only because Maish Rabbeinu and Anshik and Yisrael and Sakin. Vatam, the Puli, Hai, the Azaz, and you continue to say so many. 
Marshall Mel Boss of the Dumbsh High Low Elf Alan from Generate Sorrow by Macalson is special cancer. It's a marshal to a king. He had vast wealth. He had vast wealth of gold, etc. And they praise him with the norm with silver coins. He has wealth that is so much greater than that, and that praise that they're giving him silver is really is diminishing, is really a disgrace to the king. So here also, whatever you're gonna say, you're not going to be able to begin to recount all of the praises of Shem. So we're not praising. It's just the opposite. It's a disgrace. But like Gnai Uloi, it's a Gnai. Another member of Hanina, another member of Hanina, you said, I call Yudai Shemaim, close to Yer Shemaim. Everything is in the hands of the Shem, except Yer Shemaim. Why she explains that it, all the situations that a person has in his life, if he's strong, if he's weak, he's wealthy, he's poor, he's smart, he's not, etc. All that's Videi Shemaim. That comes from Shemaim. What's in our control, what we are control is our year Shemaim. There we have Bechira. We have the choice to, to keep the mitzvahs, to be Yer Shemaim, or Chas Shalom. The rest of the things are in the hands of Shem. Shenem, or how do we know that? Because it says, Vatan Yisrael, Ma'ashem Lekev, Shem, Kim Lir. This is what Rabbi Yisrael is asking from us here. Frank the Gemara on the year of Shemaim, this is a policy. Is that a small thing? Moshe Ben is saying, What is the Shem asking? Just here, Shemaim. Is that a small thing? Muhammad of Hanina, Mishum of Shem, and Minyachayim, and the Kashmark of Mason, also what he has in his treasure, in his storage houses. Elo Oitzer Shal Yerus Shemaim. That's the most precious thing. Shenem or Yerus Hashem, he Oitzer. Moshe says, Yes, it's the most precious thing, but in the Gabi Moshe, Moshe is a policy. Relative to Moshe Rabbeinu, who was a Yerushalayim, it was not such a, a big challenge. It's a something that seems to be a dumber portion. Of course, you're going to be Yerushalayim. If the marshal someone they want to borrow from him a kli godol, something a tractor, something very big, the Yeshlon, and if he has it, then the logically he has it. Okay, he can borrow it. it. Doesn't seem like a big thing. But Kotan Bainla, but if they ask to borrow a screwdriver and he doesn't have that, Bainla doing a lucky Kligodal, it seems like a major thing because he doesn't have it. So Moshe Rabbeinu, we had Yerah Shemaim, it didn't seem like such a big thing. But for for us, Yerah Shemaim is, is a very big challenge. Moidim, Moidim Mishaskin, I say, so it says in the Mishnah that if a person says Moidim twice, you silence him. Because it's diamond that he's Makaval Shtevishu. If a person similarly says Shema, Shema Yisrael says Shema, Shema twice, Ki'ayim or Ma'idim, 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 and we silence it. May say, Akira Shema, Mekayiflo, if a person says Shema, and he repeats it, Reza Maguna, it says, it's disgraceful. But that's Maguna without it. But, Shkuz Hashtuk, Elam Mishas Kinala, but it doesn't say we silence him. It's, it's not proper, it's improper, it's inappropriate. Doesn't say we silence him. Gemara says, "Lei kasha adam and milsim milsim v'tanu adam and psuka psuka v'tanu." If he repeats, this is she says Rashi. If he repeats each word, so it doesn't look like shtei or shuyas. It's just not proper. It's not the kavodig. It's not dignified to to address a rebbeinu that way. It's not the dignified way to talk. But it's not. It doesn't appear like shtei or shuyas. So. If he says mighty might each word twice, if he says shma shma each word twice, then over there it's it's maguna. But if he repeats shma yisrael Hashem alkem Hashem elcha and then he repeats it again, that looks like shtei rishuyas and mishaskenai. So that's Rashi Shita and the Rishayim learn just the opposite. Why is that maguna if he repeats it? Perhaps it should be it should be proper because. Dilma may call like even daita, like even daita. Why is he repeating it? Because he said Shema, he didn't have enough kavana. He repeats it again to give more kavana. So why do we consider Maguna? Perhaps it should be praiseworthy because he's trying to have more kavana. Oh, like Habusa, Klobe Shemaya, Mika, but this is like a friend, you're in Klobe Shemaya. He like even daita mikara. A person has to prepare himself properly. Before he takes upon, before he's mukavu all machu shemaim, he has to prepare himself being proper frame frame of mind. He like him daita mikora. If he doesn't do that, machina leib b'mafasu denafcha adam mukavu daita. We hit him with a hammer, 
and the blacksmith's hammer until he has a proper kavana, meaning it's considered maguna because before your makabal you have to prepare yourself. You don't know, in the process of being makabal shemaim now now start to bring mechaven and try to have the right kavana. You have to put yourself in the frame of mind prior to that, so if he doesn't, then it's maguna. Thank you.